Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today. will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford C Max, Ford Fusion, Lincoln MKZ. And if you have check engine light on and code P144A, stay with us. We'll explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least 200 to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. Another thing, if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts, tools, uh, anything for your car guys, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So, let's go ahead and start on it now. Why we guys mentioned all these three vehicles, Ford C-Max, Lincoln, uh, MKZ and Ford Fusion due to the fact that they share the same drivetrain and we'll be demonstrating on the hybrid engine guys so the same engine, same transmission can be found in all these vehicles so checking it out now, this is the hybrid engine and if you remove your intake hose right here it attaches with four clips to the air filter box and it has two bolts that we already removed those are the bolts attaching right here and they will be attaching to the radiator support here and here guys and if you look at this one now once you remove it you have that device here that's known as a perch control valve what is a perch control valve this special valve guys okay you have a special box by the fuel tank that catches the fuel vapors and when it reaches a certain amount of pressure in the fuel tank in that box practically will tell the engine computer okay to send them this way and that perch valve will open and that will be injected directly in the intake manifold from there they will uh, the fuel fumes vapors will burn through the engine it will make your car more efficient you will not lose fuel and uh, it will make it more powerful okay and you will not be uh, killing the atmosphere with fuel vapor just being released through the uh, fuel cap like it was back in the day so that valve practically injects the fuel vapors in the intake manifold it opens and closes it's practically like a switch open close open close but if you guys have a code p144a on any of those vehicles things that can cause that simply guys can be caused okay by uh, unplugged wire or loose wire uh, but in most cases guys will be purge control valve that does not work correctly you can easily test purge control control valve you can find the video guys how to test purge control valve on a uh, forward vehicle we have it on our channels guys okay uh, i think it's on our main youtube channel auto repair guys it will teach you how to do that once you test it you can find out if it closes or opens correctly sometimes they may uh, open and close you can hear them activating but you need to test it under pressure to see if it's leaking if it has a small leak it can easily trigger that code uh, another thing inspect the seals and make sure that the holes are plugged in and the o-ring around the purge valve where it uh, attaches to the intake manifold it's in good condition as well so uh, no, that, that's, that will be the most common causes for that uh, code guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time